Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs. My beautiful soul family, just thank you so much for the love and support y'all have been giving me truly each and every day. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, go ahead, please, drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, and if you feel like the video just gives good vibes, you would love to share with others, you know, just to give them that good vibe as well. Please go ahead and do that. It's truly, truly appreciated. Um, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Um, and this uh, video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, God is giving... giving ultimatums are you prepared to make that choice it's true <laughs> you know it's so true because it's just like a lot of times we find ourselves in that stagnant vibration and it makes us feel like we're in a hamster wheel hamster wheel it's like oh things aren't going to get better things are you know making me feel this way making me feel that way but it's just all about how we choose to look at the perspective it's like girl whatever it's easy for you to say and trust me <laughs> trust me i understand you know um but it, it's just at that point God giving ultimatums. Are you going to stay in this hamster wheel when you really, truly don't have to? Because it's like there's a whole world he wants you to explore, but yet you keep on being comforted in that hamster wheel. And a lot of times, I haven't said it to people that I talk to one on one with. It's like you got to leave your comfort zone. There ain't nowhere in my surroundings where I feel comfortable at, okay? But it's just like this is where we play safe at. And I had to re I'm like, what is he talking about, you know, comfort zone? Because I'm not comforted by anything I'm around. You know, so I had to be able to say you. It, it was just like you, you play safe right here when you really don't have to. They're wanting you to take that leap of faith. There's always something over that vibration, that frequency of fear, uncertainty, doubt, all those different things. And he wants you to stop playing safe. Be risky on taking different. You know, we we don't been risky before on doing some stuff that wasn't even worth our time. You know, and so he's like, why don't you do this? It could be very worthwhile with yourself. And they're wanting you to allow yourself to let go of anything and everyone that is is just not. You know, it's not bringing out the goodness in you. And a lot of times it's hard to do that. Like, oh, I, you know, I want to get closure. Or, you know, um, I, I really need to tell this person something about how I felt. You know what, I've been in situations like that before and I had to be that type and be very aggressive with myself and tell myself and it sells the new self. It's like they heard you the first time. You know, they heard you the first time. You know, you don't have to keep repeating yourself. They know what they're doing. You know what you're doing. You know, everybody's playing that game called life. You know, it's either you're going to do things the right way or you're going to do things, you know, the projection way. Just allow that, you got to allow the chips to be fall, fall, fall the way they want to on their part. You, you already know you can control you. And there's a lot of times things will be just turned up. God will turn, I mean, he a turn up person. You know, a turn up entity, whatever you want to call him. He turned up and he will sit up here and make things so hellish for you at times because he knows your potential he knows you can do so much more he's seen the fact is where you have put so much energy in something that really wasn't prosperous for you I, I you know and I tell myself that I, I've, I've done that within situations within people and then I'm just like this won't even work my damn <laughs> but I learned so much from that you know because there's so many different things that's coming up right now for people where you're seeing old energy that is coming to resurface and it's just like it's not there to trigger you but for you to acknowledge it appreciate what that situation has brought to you what is that that situation taught you you know being grateful for that even if it's painful even if it's really painful, they want you to be able to appreciate that, you know, and not to bring back up that emotion or that vibration because it's kind of like making yourself go right back to that exact point on when it happened. But it's just really, really telling you if this is, you know, especially if you're meditating and those things are coming up to your mind and it's not saying block it off or ignore it, but allow yourself to evaluate it, observe it, but set it free. 
you know this is that you, you've been in that stagnant vibration for so long and it's just like it can be very hard to let go of things that really shook you to the core it can be really hard for you to forgive people that did the unforgivable that hasn't even apologized or told the truth you know it's, it's, you know make me think about that that one post i put is that everybody grown until it comes to uh communication honesty and telling the truth and i mean there's another one and apologizing you know everybody grown until it comes to that you know and then they see you know it's like ah oh, you can't have it. you know you it, it'll be going against you but it's just the fact is anything that speaks the truth whether it's to yourself or to other people it can be very overbearing at times i ain't even gonna lie because i'll be like you know they don't want to listen to truth and then be the time like hell i don't want to listen to it either but i'm being honest about mine I'm like dang that really hurt that really hit deep but at that time when i got out my pride and got out my feels i'm like girl you needed that this is this is constructive criticism it's different between somebody doing something to down you to doubt you to disrespect you to discard you all that but there's a different thing when something or someone is seeing the true potential of you and you're allowing yourself to let things fester they don't i mean they don't even really matter anymore it just showed you exactly what you needed to see you know right now everything is a truth teller right now you gotta really see it for what it truly is. You're starting to see it with, you know, past connections with different people that are coming back into your life. They're telling you if they come back into your life, forgive them. But don't, you know, don't bring them back in. <laughs> don't bring them back in. Remember what they taught you in that sequence. They can be the most changes person of, of, of being the poster boy, you know, poster boy, poster girl of change. That's all right. I appreciate that. And I really believe you have changed. But also change too. There's a reason why you ain't in my life. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> you know. And then allowing yourself to move on. But appreciating that. Because you're knowing your worth. You know. It's just the fact is. There's a lot of different things. that's coming back. Just to see if you learned your lesson. You know. Just to see if you have learned your lesson. And it's just like. You know. There will be different things that will come back. And it will be that thorn in the side. Where. You know. I, even a prime example for me. There will be somebody I said, Hi, you know what, I truly forgive them. They did the most worst, effed up, gutter butt thing that you can ever do to somebody, but I forgive them. And next thing you know, God like, oh, you forgive them, right? So, if you was to see them, would you, would you keep that same energy? Yes, most definitely. Then I see that person, I'm like, Rrr. hey, what's up? You know, and really had to remember, God said, you remember what you told me. You know, you can remember what they did, but allow yourself to release that. They showed you who you are. Everybody you lose out your life ain't always a loss. You ain't never lost nothing or no one that you did not need. And you put it that way. If it's something that's nurturing, sometimes you have to break way for you to learn your situation. Learn your highs, your lows, your levels, your devils, your darks, your lights, and all that just the way that other person is. Recognize the worth in every connection that you have. But maybe sometimes, you know, sometimes they have to be able to, you know, there's sometimes you're taken for granted. There's sometimes you're underappreciated or not appreciated at all. And then when you part ways and that person finally sees your worth on who you were as a person what you brought to the table even if it was little to none you still try to play your part you know and then when you part ways and you come back they're gonna start appreciating you know, just the littlest things because sometimes people don't appreciate you until that you know that vibration and you're trying to fill a void towards that that situation and you especially if you're a genuine person especially if you try to do right you ain't you can't match something like that <laughs> you know that's that's just like a blue moon or a shooting star you very seldom see stuff like that but you know it is at that point where they're telling you to make that choice he's giving you those ultimatums either you can allow yourself to sit in your own self purgatory that you have created within your own pain and prison or you can allow yourself to move freely Freedom is something, you know, because a lot of times we don't feel free because there's always somebody that's trying to control our, our words, trying to control our, um, trying to control our, our choices, trying to control how we speak, you know, on how we move different things. And so it's like when those things pop off and happen the way they do, 
you know, they want you to have that choice to know you have the right to choose who you want to have in your life. A lot of times you can't choose your family. No, you can't, but you can choose to move away from them if you have to. You know, because a lot of times people want to stay around you and they want to take advantage saying, oh, this is my family. I can treat them and do them any kind of way they want. No, you can't choose that person can choose because a lot of times people do different things and they want to be able to think that oh you're, you're that doormat or whatever and these are the things that's allowing you to uh really just allow yourself to really move on in your situation being able to know that um different things is taking place into your life where you actually have that choice but god is giving you that ultimatum to where you have to really choose what is the best route for you and you know being able to do what is best for you you know not best for other people that are choosing that are not putting your well-being and your mental health at you know to their top priority like you need to this is that time where you need to be selfish with yourself and being able to do what's best for you is like everybody doing what's best for them you need to do it too you know and ain't nothing selfish and ain't nothing wrong about that and it's just us at empath we we you know because i always said and i always had to learn the only time i did not i should never put my priorities ahead of anything unless it's my children and i need to raise now my children are all grown my youngest one is 21 my oldest one is almost 30 so it's just a fact you know i i'm just you know is she as a matter of fact she's 27 i'm like oh my god you know I'm, you know and got a grandbaby as well four years old <laughs> but you know going through all that i had to allow myself to know you know stop playing backseat to your own life you can't keep doing it when you say no mean no don't feel guilty about that other people i have no problem telling you no you know allow yourself to not manipulate your schedule for your self-care time to impact others now it'd be different is if it's a life and death situation and you know you can be able to assist with that that's a different story you know but if it's something that you know that is just their emergency and not an, an emergency you know because some people are like it'll be an emergency and be like oh i stubbed my toe but it's an emergency Okay, you better wrap it up, get an ice pack out the freezer or something. Go get some peas or something. You know, and just being able to allow yourself to really, um, you know, just really allow yourself to really just move, you know, freely within that where you're making better choices of yourself. You know, being able to pick, you know, even with when it comes to your choices of people who you choose to be around. You know, they're telling you to be very, very selective right there, you know, because there's so many different things that's going on right now where they're telling you to keep your, your prophecies private, keep whatever you got going on that you're working on that God has led you to private, <laughs> you know, private because there's some unseen forces around here that's trying to do any and everything to make sure that whatever you got going on will never prosper. So they're telling you to keep it keep it quiet you know there's so many different times where i mean i've had in my past where i've said things that i was really truly happy about my achievements and stuff like that and it wasn't nothing about you know bragging about anything but when you're happy and you're doing some big things that you never thought you were doing you should be able to share that with people but a lot of times you have to understand it don't even have to be it was not never personal but there's just some people that don't want to see you prosper at all you are thorn in a lot of people's eyes you're a hayoka so it's like the more you allow yourself to be empowered by stuff that that dims the heck out of some somebody else's fuse not light but fuse because they they sucking the, the energy out of something you know those energy vampires they you know they do a lot so it's just those times where universe is telling you move in silence don't even have to make no announcements so whatever you're just doing allowing yourself to just do you know like i've said before i've had to learn the most hardest ways keep your mouth shut and keep going because there's too many people i got way too many enemies out there just watching just waiting for me to say something so they can learn how to use it against me and it's just like what we're all moving like that. It's just like the more you move up, the more you end up. Hey, you moving up and so is darkness is moving up to you. And it's always a new challenge. It's like the Game of Thrones. I don't even watch Game of Thrones, but it just put me in that, that mindset. You know, of Game of Thrones. When you up, any up and on something, them daggone dark minions of the devils is moving too. 
Do you know they watch every little single thing you do? They monitor everything you do. You know, there's different things that people are willing to do to place stuff on your path. Different juju, voodoo, hoodoo type stuff and all that stuff. I said, got that in my vibe, but shoot, I'm, I'm not going to allow myself to manip manipulate nobody's path, nobody's journey. Because I feel like if you ain't moving good, it's going to eventually come back to you anyway. I'm going to stay focused on me. <laughs> you know what I'm just like? I'm going to stay focused on me. And they also have to understand, too, Universe is putting many tests out there. So he's just going to, you know, they're going to do different things to bring out different stuff. If they know you don't like somebody or it's just like a strong vibe around them, that just you just there's something about that person. And you just ugh. and it, it could be the name it could be somebody bringing that person up or you may see them out on social media allow yourself to just come disconnected with that if they if they created a mess in your world allow them to be in that mess by themselves just send love and blessings and healing towards them whatever god feel like they deserve just say i'm sending love and blessing and whatever god feel like they deserve let karma god work that mess out you ain't got time to be doing that this is that time to stay focused on on you they're going to test you with different things they're going to test you with your weaknesses they're going to test you with uh your strength as well you know there's different things that's even moving through dreams right now so if you having you know the uh sx you know experiences in 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 you know your dreams and stuff like that demons is coming through you in your dreams you know different spiders and stuff crawling on you in your dreams that's omens as well you know people are like rosin i see these in my dreams because dreams is getting really vivid you know dreams is getting really vivid and i see a lot of different people because i see people with with spiders crawling all on them and they're freaking out you know and and different things like that that you're on that emotional roller coaster wheel of healing and it's just like it is really hitting deep for a lot of different people. And it, it can be that something like I'm ready to get off and you about to up chug. And I was like, no, you ain't done yet. <laughs> you are not done yet. You're going to have to allow yourself to really get there. So God is really putting these ultimatums out for you. And it's like a lot of times he give you that free will of choice. But now it's at that point where you going to either, if you can't stand the heat, get your butt out of the kitchen. You ain't on the pot doing what you need to do. Get off of it. You know, and it's at that point right now. He is not playing. If you know you're moving righteously in the right, everything going to go right for you. If you ain't do, you doing the opposite, it's going to go like that for you as well. You know, everything is intensified. And they're telling you, you have to be able to see what side that you're on. Don't play the vibe. You know, there's a lot of different things that's going against God where, you know, people want to worship him doing this and this and that but you move through devilish vibrations god ain't playing that ain't <laughs> god ain't playing that and i'm gonna just leave it at that but i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video y'all um much love to you i'm gonna try my best to go ahead and have my my chat i haven't had it wasn't really active last time i did it but i was just like yeah but i'm gonna go ahead and do it again i say ain't worried about all that what what happened last time is what happened last time i'm gonna leave it there but uh i'm gonna go ahead and most likely have my um my uh live chat is just going to be just random you know talking about different things i'll probably you know it'll be random but i'll be different things that i'm going to talk about and it's just bringing out you know where people are being interactive you know active with speaking upon those different things as well which is truly beautiful i love it when y'all y'all are active with me and i love that it, it makes it go so much smoother you know have it for like 30 45 minutes and just you know take it from there but i'm gonna go ahead and have that at 7 45 tonight um and hopefully you'll be able to come there and um the video uh shout out i say video shout out the uh my um youtube shout outs uh is for uh tyra lover 90 uh 941 much love to you s harris wildflower and just lee much love to you as well if you're new to the channel welcome it's so good to have you please drop me a line i leave all my contact information in the description box below um it's just all about spiritual networking um just being able to further your your spiritual mission uh give you a deeper uh diff deeper understanding about your spiritual mission even if you were to just share stuff with me because there's a lot of people that 
that, you know, tell me about whatever happened that led them there and different input that I can put in. And I try my best to be able to help you out as much as I can. And whatever we speak on is confidential. So whatever we, we say there stays there. And I just try my best to give you that deeper understanding that you're truly looking for. So um, I hope you have a blessed, uh, blessed week and hopefully it's not a manic Monday. <laughs> so... Uh, let me let me see. Uh, stay blessed, stay safe, and whatever your manies are that you have been working on, uh, it's gonna come so much bigger and better than you ever imagined. It's gonna come sooner than you ever predicted as well. Just stay very aggressive on your progression. Be inconsistent with yourself. You know whatever you're facing right there. Use that as that ammunition to keep you moving. Really, really keep you moving. So uh, uh, whatever. Um, that you you know you're facing right now is, is creating better for you just think about it in that way you know a lot of times we got to keep repeating ourselves and telling ourselves that so even through social distancing make sure that you give out love light positivity words by its frequencies as well as uh you know love and love and uh, uh you know affection <laughs> like love and affection towards other people you know love and compassion that's what i meant to say love and compassion they truly need that it can take a really long way and so can you so uh be safe and be responsible and you'll see me on my next video and hopefully you'll be able to uh connect with me tonight at 7 45 on my live chat and oh as well i leave my contact information up under that i have my link to my podcast as well that you uh, can also uh, connect with as well. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.